What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a nice little tip for you. Today we're gonna be discussing how to separate your drum tracks and get good drums in Logic. So let's get into the video and I'll show you how to do it. So now I have Logic loaded up and I have a new project. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select software instrument for the type of track that I wanna start with. And under instrument, you're gonna select the AU instruments, native instruments, contact, be sure to select 16 stereo, multi-output, okay? So here it says multi-output 16 times stereo. Go ahead and check that. And now you can create. Before we get into contact here, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our mixer here. As you can see down here, usually you don't have this if you're just running a stereo contact instance, but you can have these plus or minus signs here. These are gonna be like auxiliary tracks. This is where all of your different drum pieces are gonna go. These are your different tracks, okay? You can start by pressing the plus to however many tracks you think you're gonna need for your drum kit. I'm pretty simple. I'm just gonna keep it to a minimum. So we're gonna have the first track here. That's gonna be the kick. Then we're gonna have a snare. I want all of my toms on the same track, just to make it simple. And then I want my hi-hat separate. So there's one. And then I want my overheads, so my cymbals. And then I want room mics. All of my room mics are gonna be together as well. Let's go ahead and just add another one, just to be safe. So now you can see we have seven tracks. Also, you can see here, input, you have contact here, and then you have the different channels coming from contact here. For your auxiliary tracks, you have the, the other stereo channels that are coming in here as the input. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to contact here, and before we open up the instrument, we're gonna set up contact. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to outputs, we're gonna hit the plus sign. Now quantity, we only have seven stereo tracks, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it at that, okay? The sound card host output, it's all gonna be coming from the first stereo track. That's where we're gonna program everything. Make sure that you have ascending output assignment selected and delete existing channels before creating new ones. Make sure you have both of those checked. Also, you can, if you want, make this your default configuration. I'm not going to because sometimes I like to do things differently, so I like a blank slate when I first open up contact. Go ahead and click okay. And as you can see here, we have seven. These are all of our tracks here. Next thing we're going to do, as you can see, you have these auxiliary tracks here. Come down to the bottom where it's the 11, 12. These are the, the stereo output. Uh, click the 0, 01 and 0, 02 and go ahead and scroll down all the way to not connected. We're basically going to turn these off. We don't need them. Okay. Go ahead and click OK to that. We're going to do that for each of these auxiliary tracks here. Okay. So now we've set up a few stereo tracks. Now what we can do is we can go in and name these. So I'm just gonna name them with the instrument, with the uh, drum parts that they are. Okay, so I've finished naming these tracks here. I have kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, overhead, rooms, and extra. The extra is the one that we made just in case. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing down here for each of the Logic tracks. Okay, there we go. So now what we can go ahead and do is open up our drum kit, which I'm gonna use GGD Modern Massive. Okay, now I have Modern Massive loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of my presets that I've made and this is what we're gonna this is the drum kit that we're gonna use. So now what we have to do is we have to go into each of the drum pieces and route them to where they need to go. We click on the kick, you come down here, you can see that this is the output, right? What we need to do is we need to make sure that our drums are going to the correct places. These first four I want all these to be on the kick. I want these to go to the first track, the kick track. And for the rooms, I want them to all go to the rooms track so i'm just going to go ahead and select rooms i'm going to go to snare and i'm going to continue to do this until i have everything routed to the correct track now we can go back in to logic i'm going to make this a simple beat just to show you what it looks like all right so i've programmed a little beat here now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to it real quick Pay special mind to the tracks down here in the mixer section of Logic. And here you'll be able to see that each of these tracks are being used. There is sound coming out. After we get done listening to it real quick, we'll go through and listen. And so I can show you that each of these tracks are working. So as you can see, everything seems to be working, right? Each track has sound that's coming out. Yes, there's a little bit of clipping going on, but that's not the point right now. Let's go ahead and solo each of these tracks so that we can hear what's going on.
All right, so everything seems to be working the way we want it to. And of course we have the extra track down here in case we want to route anything very specific to it. The reason that you'd want to do this is so that you can mix all of your drum pieces individually. This is how you're going to get the most control out of your drum sound. Make sure that you're doing this. There's many ways to separate your drum tracks. You can go through and program each individual track if you want, which is what I used to do until I figured out how to do this. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys today because it's super useful and it's, it's the best way to separate your drum tracks to multiple outputs. That's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. Now, I'm so glad that I figured out how to do this. I'm wondering why I didn't do it earlier because it's so easy. So I hope you guys learned something useful out of this. And please, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer everything for you. If you have any other suggestions, please leave those in the comments as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.